Guys, how's it going? So, here we've got another really fun Venn diagram question. So, our universal set is 120 coins in a coin selection. Uh, T are coins from the 20th century, B are coins uh, that are British. So, in our Venn diagram here then, we've got some lovely algebra kicking around. So, x times x minus 15 coins are just from the 20th century. x are from the 20th century and British. Uh, and x minus 2 coins are only British. 32 coins are neither from the 20th century or British. So, the question says... A coin is chosen at random, it is British, we want to work out the probability that it is also from the 20th century. Ah, big question. So, what we're going to need to do here first of all is work out the value of x. So, altogether we know there are uh, 120 coins in this collection all together. So we can work out first of all how many coins are in the circles all together. Uh, we're going to do that by taking away the 32 that are in the rectangle so not inside of the circles. So 120 minus 32 gives us 88. So that tells us the total number of coins inside the circles, so from the 20th century British and 20th century and British, add up to 88. So, x, lots of x minus 15, add x, add x minus t, is equal to 88. Let's expand the bracket. So, x squared minus 15x uh, plus x plus x minus 2 is equal to 88. Let's now simplify the left hand side. So we've got x squared, well, we've got 15x plus x plus x. So minus 15x plus 2x is minus 13x. And then we've got uh, minus 2 is equal to 88. So what have we got going on here all of a sudden? We've now got a quadratic equation that needs solving. We know it's quadratic because we have an x squared term. So to solve a quadratic, we need everything on the same side together and a zero on the other. So we're going to take away this 88, which is going to give us x squared minus 13x minus and 90 is equal to 0. So there's our quadratic equation. We now need to solve this bad boy. Now we can do this by factorising, which is good. So we need in two pairs of brackets a single x in each one. Now our two numbers here need to multiply together to give us minus 90 and add together to give us minus 13. Now the fact that they multiply together to minus 90 tells us one number is going to be positive, one number is going to be negative. So now we need two numbers that multiply together to give us 90 that have a difference of minus 13. So let's go through our 
multiples of 19. Check with your 1 and 19. No, 2 and 45. Also, no, 3 and 30. No, 4 does 4 go into 90? No, 5 does the 18 times. Aha, 5 and 18 have a difference of 13. Now, given that we want uh, minus 13, the bigger of the two numbers is our negative number. So, we're going to have x plus 5 times x minus 18. So, from that, we get two possible solutions for x. We can get x is minus 5 or x is positive 18. So, this is a very common thing that happens. We've got a question. We've got two possible values for uh, our letter. Only one of these makes sense. If we go back to the Venn diagram, remember in the middle we have x coins that are only, uh, sorry, x coins that are 20th century and British. Doesn't make sense to have minus five coins that do that. So it doesn't make sense to have a negative value for x, which means then the only value of x that we care about is x equals 18. So now that we've got that, I'm going to clear things up, go back up to the Venn diagram, and finally answer the question. Okay, so we've done all that. We've now worked out that x is 18. So what we can do now is work out how many coins are in each set. So first of all, we've got x in the middle. x is 18. So we've got 18 coins now in that. In t, we've got x times x minus 15. So that's 18 times 18 minus 15. 18 minus 15 is 3. 3 times 18 is 54. So, we've got 54 20th century only coins. And then in British, we've got x minus 2. 18 minus 2 is 16. So now we know the numbers of each type of coin, we can now finally answer the question. So, we're told a coin is picked at random. It is British. So, that's important. We are being told this coin is British. So, we're only worried about things inside of this circle. We want to work out the probability that it is also 20th century. So, the bottom of our fraction is the total number of coins in this now green circle. So, the total number of British coins. So, 18 plus 16 is uh, 34. So, that's the bottom of our fraction. How many coins in this circle are 20th century? 18. So we want 18 up on top. So 18 thirty-fourths is our answer. They haven't asked for it in its simplest form, so don't bother simplifying it. 18 thirty-fourths is our answer. Wow, five marks for that. You can sort of see why. Big question. If you found that useful, guys, uh, and you want more questions like that, let me know down below in the comments. Or if you want more questions on any particular topic, let me know down below. Okay guys, take care.